Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. So today we're gonna do what well, the title says on a thumbnail, fish head soup. One of my favorite soup by all times because the fish head has amazing, amazing flavor. I love the cartilage in the fish head. If you want what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the fish head right now. But anyways, let's get this video started guys, let's go. Here's the ingredients. This is fresh salmon head. And then we got some of the um, meat, like they cut from the head and then uh, um, there's a lot of meat on the side and stuff. So that's where you see the meat. Here's my favorite part, the cartilage right here on the salmon. It's so good guys. And then also I finally learned how to eat fish eyes and the fish eyes is actually really good because I love gelatinous texture. Here's the ingredients right here. We're gonna use sawtooth cilantro, one of my favorite all time Asian herb. And then we got my arm. I'm not sure what American, the English term is for this herb, but it grows in like really thick mud and a lot of water. But this is one of the key ingredients for the soup. And then we have the Asian squash, that's really good too. And then also we have um, lime leaf, and then Thai chili, garlic, and gainga, one of my favorite herb as well. Not herb, but um, roots. And then lastly, key ingredient is this mud fish sauce. Um, come on, it's called pahot. Um, English term is like, um, what's that called? Anchovy. So this gives it a really good flavor as well. It's really stinky, but it adds a really good flavor to the soup. On the Asian squash, we just dice it up into bite sizes, however you like it. So this is the way we like it. Easy. And then we're gonna put a lot because I like a lot of vegetables in this soup. But that's what it looks like the inside, guys. It's like a melon. And it smells just like a melon too. But it's one of a unique vegetable to use in this fish head soup. You can use any vegetables, but I prefer this melon in it. Now we're gonna use probably a whole entire garlic clove. So this is all, all up to you guys too. This is how I do my soup and stuff. So you guys can follow the recipe, but this is more for like entertainment. It's not um, a tutorial or anything. It's just my cooking. And I'd like to show you guys how I do certain dishes, how I do certain cooks and what I add and stuff. So a lot of my videos, I tell you guys like always that I don't measure anything. I always go by taste. And if you like more garlicky stuff, you add more garlic or whatever. So I'm showing all the ingredients that we use for this soup. Right there. Sorry for the noise of the fan, but I'm not a fan of that um, pahot or that um, anchovy because it smells. So I have the fan on high, so it doesn't smell the house. But we're adding gallinga into the boiling water. It's boiling like crazy. And I, the water, I used about half of this big old pot. And then we're adding lime leaf. And then now we're gonna add the pahot. That man. Masapriya. Okay, that's all we need. Just a little uh, tablespoon. Just a little too, um, oh. So she says that this soup, you have to have that ingredient the anchovy or the pahot in this soup. Oh. So that's the tamarind sauce that we're using, packaged tamarind sauce. Mm. Wow. Okay. And now we're going to add chicken soup. That's the dry chicken soup bouillon. Yeah, you don't have to put it. Then a little salt. Awesome. Some fish sauce. The size of a... Okay. Next, we're gonna chop up, dice up those green herbs. And that smells phenomenal, guys. Oh my goodness. My favorite herb. Oh, Gianna. That's what we call it. Ong Lei ke hao anna ke hao sa. That's crazy. And then when we do the soup, when you get this the residue come on top, we always take it out and throw it away. We don't want any of that stuff. 
Yeah, all that cleaning stuff. We throw it all away. Next, we're gonna add the fish head right here. My God, this is so good. Yeah, salmon. Mm -hmm. the, the head and the tail. Once we put the fish in, we wait until the water boils, and now we're gonna put the Asian squash. This takes a little longer to cook, so we, hopefully the fish doesn't like over overcook. But it should be good. I mean, it doesn't take that long because ah, uh, the lightning will chop that. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. That's your ah. Sweet. And then we're gonna cover it up again and let it boil. And then we do a taste test. Oh my god, it smells so good. Made sight. Last ingredient in this soup that is almost done. We did a little taste test of the uh, broth. Super good, guys. Then this herb will give it the best aroma ever. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that looks so good. And that smells so good. For the fish head soup, now we're gonna do fried fish because we need some like meat fry stuff to go with the soup. So we're gonna fry tilapia. We already marinated. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys the, um, the marinade, but she wants me to back up a little because it might fly everywhere. Oh, good, it's not. Look at that, guys. Ooh. Right now, we got some tomatoes in my backyard to make this dipping sauce for the tilapia, just in case if it's not salty enough or enough flavor. So we're making... Let's make the fish sauce. Huh? That's the tray. That's the tray. Oh. That's the tray. So it's going to be fish sauce with tomato. So now we're going to add the fish sauce. Then we already chopped up big slices of chili sauce. <laughs> chili sauce. Chili. <laughs> Thai chili. Huh? Matei. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Add some sugar. This raw sugar. A little bit. You don't want too much. But I sampled some of the tilapia, the fried tilapia. Oh my god, guys. There's no need for the sauce. But just in case other friends would like you know, a little saltier, then they can dip in this um, tomato fish sauce. Lactum, it will be good too. Mm -hmm. It's tonight's dinner is all ready. Here is the tomato fish sauce. Oh my God, guys, this fish is amazing. I don't know why, but I love tilapia. It's one of my favorite fish to eat too. And then the fish head soup, look at that. And the meat is on the very bottom, the salmon. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and then I'll see you guys next time on my next cooking, catch and cook, wherever I go guys. Later!